Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is here now. Monica, good afternoon to you. So on the surface, those numbers seem to be good news, but I'm sure there's more. What do you have? Well, you know, I think it's really important to consider what how many other people are in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So the good news is some of the docs I've been speaking to are saying that they think we may peak with this fourth wave this week or maybe next week. So it is great to see hospitalizations begin to decline, but what everyone tends to forget is that there are a lot of people in the hospital, not just COVID patients. Our hospitals are now at 84% capacity, and we're heading into the beginning of cold and flu season. We know traditionally this is the time of year we see hospitals get really busy normally. Add COVID and staff shortages into that mix, and it's no wonder some of those hospitals are delaying care and wait times are just skyrocketing. Okay, so we know that that's the problem. We've been rolling out the vaccines. Vaccine mandates then came along. Are the vaccine mandates working? Yeah, everybody wants to know that. Well, Ohio, good news here, finally reached 50% of residents fully vaccinated. Now nationally, we're just over 55%. But the seven days after the president announced the vaccine mandate, 88,000 Ohioans got their first dose. The following week, it dropped to 49,000, and this most recent week, just 31,000. Mm. Many of those numbers may have also been kids, so I'm not really sure we can say the mandates are hugely successful at this point. However, that may change when people start losing their jobs because of a mandate. We've seen vaccines tick up right before mandate deadlines in other parts of the country. So that could happen here as our deadlines loom. Also, remember this, if you choose not to get vaccinated, even after your employer mandates vaccines, you may not be eligible for unemployment. We've seen businesses call it a voluntary resignation when an employee refuses a vaccine and you don't get unemployment when you technically quit because mm. you don't want to get a shot. Ooh. Ooh. I, I smell all kinds of legal wranglings with that. Yeah, well, that's going to be interesting. We haven't be. heard about any lawsuits yet, like major lawsuits. Not yet, but I'm wondering on dismissal lawsuits. That's the fine detail is, is in that fine print. Is Are you quitting your job or are you being fired because you refuse to do something that they ordered you to do? If it is a condition of your employment, yeah. the law to, traditionally is on the side of the yeah. business. And they are allowed under law to mandate vaccines. Yeah. So I think the arguments have been pretty much been shut. That's going to be interesting. We, we just heard from Amani a little while ago about these shortages in the healthcare field. What are you hearing? Well, you know, one of the things, keep in mind, we are experiencing a staff shortage, but this started way before the pandemic even began. But many are telling me it's not really the vaccine mandates among healthcare workers causing them to leave. The large majority are experiencing compassion burnout. And many of the younger nurses, well, if they can leave town, they're taking those travel nurse positions where they can make a lot more yeah. money just by going out of state and working at other hospitals. Hmm. It is so fascinating right now. The entire employment dynamic of our country has changed yep. and is just kind of in this flux mode. So it'll be great when things finally get settled down because it's a little stressful right now. It's seriously, yeah. I would love to see all the, you know, dominoes finally fall and let's, let's put them back together. Yeah, Please. Certainly. Thanks so much, Monica. All right, great Jeff. information.